Hi guys, Brooke from Snuggly Fox Designs here. Today we're going to be working on some simple stitches. So first of all, um, we're just going to be making like a little uh, rectangle to practice these stitches with. So let's start with our slip knot, um, which we have in another video. Oops. Um, and then you put your insert your hook into your slip knot. Now we're going to be just doing the chain first. So once you have your slip knot, all you do is yarn over and pull through, and that's one chain made. Now we're going to do um, let's do eleven chains. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over and pull through. Six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Now the reason why we do 11 is because we don't count this first chain, um, we don't work into this first chain, we work into this next chain. So then we'll have a series of 10 stitches across then when we're working. Um, so the abbreviation for chain is CH and that's what you'll see um, in in most patterns. Um, now we are going to be working, typically you work in um, this top loop here when you're going into it. I prefer to work in um, the back bump when I'm working and I have another video for that. Um, but for right now I'll go ahead and work in this top chain so that um, if you're used to doing it that way then um, this is a good way to start doing it. So first of all we're going to do our single crochet. So to do our single crochet, we're going to do um, insert our hook into the first, the top part of the chain, yarn over and pull through, so then you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through again. So that's one single crochet made. So now we're going to do the same thing, insert our hook into the next little loop, yarn over and pull through, then you have two on your hook, yarn over and pull through, and then that's two single crochets made. So you continue to do that all the way down the line. So I'm going to get to the um, bottom of the line here, or bottom of the row here, and then um, I'll show you how to turn. Now the abbreviation for single crochet is um, SC, and that's what you'll see in um, most patterns. Now most patterns should also have an abbreviation um, list at the top of the pattern too. So if you don't remember, then um, you can look at that list. So here's our row one, and if you count, we have uh, 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is, doesn't count, that's our chain from the beginning. Now to go to the other side, we're going to chain one. So you just yarn over and pull through. And then we turn our work. Oops, turn our work here. Now we're not going to insert into this chain, we're going to insert into this first stitch right here. So you put your hook through both loops right there, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, and that's one single crochet made. Now you do it again for the next one, you insert it into both, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. Then we have our next one, both loops there, insert our hook in there, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. And you continue to do this all the way down. And then when you get to the end of the row, you would chain one, turn, and start going back the other direction. Um, and that's, a, that's how you do the basic single crochet. Now if you wanted to do a slip stitch, um, I don't slip stitch on the first row. Normally um, whenever I'm slip stitching it'll be like, the last row typically or something um, because it's kind of hard to work into slip stitches because uh, they're so tight. So if you do have to work into slip stitches I would recommend um, using a bigger hook um, to keep the stitches a little bit looser. So if I were to slip stitch this entire row then what I would do is I would chain one and turn and how you do a slip stitch is it's just like the single crochet, but it, it's a tiny bit different. So you insert your hook into the first, yarn over and pull through. Now typically a single crochet you'd yarn over and pull through again. This slip stitch you're going to pull through that first loop there, just like that. So that's your slip stitch. Now you can see that pulled that pretty tight, so that's why it's kind of difficult to work through that if you're doing it, um, if you're wanting to do this another row after it. So let's do it again. So you insert your hook into the first stitch, 
Yarn over and pull through and pull through. There you go, there's your slip stitch. So let's do it again. Insert your hook. See, I have both of those stitches. See, it makes kind of like a little V there. Yarn over and pull through and pull through. Whoops, got stuck there. There we go. So there's your slip stitch, right like that. Um, and the abbreviation for slip stitch is, um, let me see, slip stitch, S-L-S-T. <laughs> so slip and then stitch, right? Like, now let's go on to half double crochet. Now when doing half double crochet, you can either chain one or chain two. Um, I prefer to chain one when I'm doing half double crochet and then I'll chain two if I'm doing double crochet. So we'll chain one and turn. And we'll yarn over and insert our hook into the first stitch. Yarn over and pull through that stitch. Now you have three loops on your hook and you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. And that's your half double crochet. Now notice with our single crochet, we just stuck our hook in. We didn't yarn over first. Half double crochet, you have to yarn over first. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Now we have three little loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of those loops, right like that. And you continue to do this all the way down the line. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. That's your half double crochet. Now when you get to the end of the row, you can chain one, turn, and go back. Now like I said, you can chain two if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Um, you just kind of want to make this stitch, um, this chain, about the same level as this so that it doesn't like pull down or whatever. But as you can see, it's pretty much the same level. So you can do either the chain one or the chain two. Now the abbreviation for half double crochet is H. D C and I'll list all these abbreviations um, in the description box below as well. So now let's go ahead and work with our double crochet. So for this one we're going to chain two because we want to have it about the same height as our stitch and this is just like the half double crochet. We're going to yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Now with half double crochet we would pull through all three of these loops. Double crochet we're just going to pull through the first two loops. So yarn over, pull through one loop, pull through two loops. Now we have two remaining on our hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through those remaining two loops. So let's do it again. Yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the next two loops. There it is, and you continue to do it all the way down. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So there you go. So see how we did two single crochet in this one? Because if we would have just done one, it would have pulled down. I'm sorry, two chains in this one. So that is our double crochet, and that's abbreviated DC. Now, um, I'm not starting over with the chain row again. I'm just leaving all of this as single crochet. But of course you can do that with each stitch. So you just chain and then just like I did with the single crochet, you would just switch stitches whatever you wanted. Um, half double crochet row, double crochet row, you know, whatever you wanted to. You could even technically do a slip stitch row. Um, like I said, I would recommend you go up a hook size though if you're going to be working into that row afterwards. Now we're going to be doing the half treble crochet. The abbreviation for that is HTR. So for this one, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn. Now with half double crochet and double crochet, you yarn over once. With half treble and treble, you yarn over twice. So we wrap our yarn around our hook two times, insert into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Now we're going to be um, yarn over and pull through two loops, just like you would do a double crochet. But now we have three loops on our hook, so since we're doing a half treble crochet, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So let's do another one. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, one, two, yarn over and pull through the remaining three loops, one, two, three. And if you've ended with one little loop on your hook there, then you know you did it right. So let's do it again. Yarn over twice. 
insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, whoops, that stitch got stuck there, there we go, and yarn over and pull through three loops. And this is actually the back um, side of the front row, this is the back of the treble crochet, this is the front of the treble crochet. Um, so that's, I'm sorry, half treble crochet. So that's our half treble crochet. Now we're going to be working our treble crochet, just a regular treble. This one is abbreviated TR. Um, so we're going to chain three, one, two, three. Now just like our half treble, we yarn over two times. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, now this is where it differs from the half treble. Half treble we would pull through all three. Regular treble we're gonna pull through just two of them. So you're gonna leave two on your hook. And then yarn over and pull through the remaining two. So that's kind of like an extra step in there. So yarn over twice, insert into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the last two. And there you have it. Let's do it one more time. Um, yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the last two. So there you have it. Now, see this is um, curving a little bit. You could probably even start with the chain four for the traditional treble crochet. Um, probably chain three for the half treble. Um, I probably should have chained four for the traditional treble crochet. Um, or you can just leave it, it doesn't matter, it still lines up. And uh, most of the time what I do when I'm finishing a piece is I'll single crochet around the whole thing anyways, so you won't even see this part when you're done with it. Um, all right guys, I hope that helps you with um, some of your basic stitches. Thanks.